Good morning and welcome to another exciting breakfast with Unity. Um, so first off, I'm tired, so sorry about that. I just, uh, I I was really busy in San Francisco and I was tired yesterday and I couldn't even do the show, but today I didn't want to have two days in a row where I wasn't doing this show, so um, we did 15 minutes late, sorry about that, but um, I think this is going to be fine. So, uh, what are we doing? We're going to, our thing here is this actually... So, if we go into fun with built-in shaders, are we actually at some point? Yes, we are. Good. Very good. Alright. So, we're not going to need to change any of these. These reflections are basically what we want. But, um, but we don't have the interior of the cubes. Now, I'm, I'm not showing the reference anymore, but I had basically interior cubes that were glowing red. And that's what we're going to be doing on the show today. So... Let's first create a real quick folder here for um, 12, um, what do we call this? Particle Glow. So that's a good name. I like that. Particle Glow. And we're just going to place this somewhere between one of these. There we go. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding these glowing red cubes in the middle of it. And so. First off, um, we're just going to create the cube for it. Um, we've got and reflect views. So we call this shaders. I'm going to duplicate this scene. The reason we do this is so that people can see what each step of this actually did. So particle glow, um, what are we doing? We're going to change this to be called particle glow. A little slow this morning. I'm going to open it and we're going to quickly create a cube. This is going to be our our new wonderful cube thing. So I don't remember exactly what the values I did for the material, but we're going to definitely need a material. So we're going to create a material and we're going to call this uh, red glow cube. And we're going to place this on the cube before I forget. And then we're just going to change the color here to red. Um, I believe this is actually all I did. I might have used an unlit version, but I don't think I did because it was actually more interesting with this. Um, now, this of course doesn't look that interesting. If you if you go here, it's it's, it's a cube. That's all it is. It's just a little little cube. It doesn't look very glowy much at all. Um, so let's uh, first make it the same size as the other cubes. Do all three dimensions because the third one is whoop, looked like it was fine. So, um, what are we doing? We're going to, uh, call this, create, let's call this, uh, red glow cube is what we're going to call it. And, um, we're going to create a new particle system, create particles. Where, where are they? Maybe it's in here. Particle system. There we go. All right. So we've got this particle system. And we're going to really make it very, 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 very basic. So, first off, do we have an additive? Oh, I do. We already have an additive particles uh, 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 material. So, all an additive particles material is, is we just use a particle additive here. And then we don't have to, we just use the default uh, particle here. And this will be fine. So, I'm going to just drag this into our particle system. Where is this actually found? I'm just curious. Um, oh, the laser dot, of course. That's our that's our laser dot particle. We did this very early in the series. That's excellent. Glad that I showed additive particles. So, um, we're going to go to our particle system. It's now additive, or it should be at least. Yep, particles additive. And um, we're going to make it so that um, the lifetime... Yeah, whatever... We'll make it so the max particles is like two. Maybe, actually, let's just do one. And we just want to basically make this thing just spawn a particle that just lasts a long time. So we're just going to set the rate really low. And we're going to set the shape to a sphere. Um, we're going to make the radius. It doesn't have much vari variance in where it's at. And we're going to make the start lifetime... Um, something along the lines of really should have kept a reference here um yeah we'll just make it okay whatever we'll make the size really big first so 30 and um 
and we want this to actually be red so we're going to change this wait no wait that's not what we want to change undo um we actually want to change it up here the reason being is we don't want to um we don't want to change the particle for our um we don't want to affect the other projects if we're going to change this i want to make another instance of it but we're not changing it because we could actually just change the color up here and um start speed should be zero so that it just stays in place and does this have a flicker or does it just work looks like it just works so perfect this is exactly what we want so it's just this nice little static thingy here so um I'm going to start with 30 because that looks pretty good. Um, it might not be what we want. We're going to place it on the glow cube and we're going to um, zero out the particle system here so that it's right around it. That may not be enough. Let's actually make that bigger. Um, so, particle system, let's make it 50. Oh, okay, we've got another problem here. So, if we go to 30, um, our problem here is um, if we zoom out, it actually becomes bigger. And this actually might be about what we want, but um, this is a fill rate saving option that Unity has built in. By default, um, the max particle size is only 50% of the viewport screen. So if you go close enough, it will stop growing. So I'm going to actually make it so the max particle size can go to 1.0. So now we can, it'll still clip it a little bit, but it honestly doesn't look bad in practice. Uh, so, so I'm going to go with that. And... Um, what do we want to do? do we still want it? Yeah, we still want it. 30. 30 is probably perfect. So, so this will be our cube, and we're going to create a um, create that there. And I'm going to delete this cube for right now. Actually, we're going to have to change it again because it doesn't do something that's really important. So it needs to move back to its original location, like like this one does. So I'm just going to bring this in as a reference real quick, um, and. So it just needs a parent, so we're just going to create an empty game object. We're going to put the cube in it, glow cube into the game object. Glow cube, again, I'm just going to do it. And uh, these are zero, perfect. Um, did we want the scale on the child? Yeah, that looks good. And then um, all we need to do is add a rigid body to this. So we're going to get a component physics rigid body um, don't use gravity we're going to add a component um, we're going to add what is it called it's called position follow position physics there we go and we also want follow rotation follow rotation physics and in both cases we want the target to be the parent and in, uh, I'm going to, do we force the spherical tensor on this? No, we don't. So I'm going to keep that just alone, leave it alone. And um, I just want the settings to be the same. So 2.5, 15, 45, looks good. 5, 30, 80, 15. Okay, 5, 30, Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this prefab. Yeah, that's fine. And we're going to pull this one in. This is the one we want. So we're going to delete this. Yep, that's fine. Um, and I'm going to delete this one in the scene. And for right now, we're going to... Um, we're going to change our grid spawner here to, instead of spawning reflective cube, we're going to spawn glow cube. We're going to get a little bit further in just a second and fix this. So if we do this, wow, that uh, killed the frame rate. That was weird. Uh, let's make sure this is not a weirdness on my computer, but I have a feeling that something we did. Yeah, that, that works nicely. So what happened here? Oh, I know. Um, so reflective cube um, doesn't collide with itself. It's on a layer called no collision. It's not exactly true. It actually collides with some things. But um, So we need to make sure that this is also on the no collision error layer. That's what was uh, just killing our frame rate. So um, yeah, might as well change the children even though they don't really collide. So if we hit play now, no, if we hit play after we go into and put our glow cube in it, then we should see a much there. That's a marked improvement. So, 
So there's our glowing and stuff. Uh, we might tweak it. It looks a little weird because it's not covered up. Um, that's part of the reason that the shell's so nice for this. So, um, so, but you can see, wow, why are they not pushing out very far? Did we not make that more dramatic? I guess we hadn't, we hadn't tweaked that. Um, so we'll have to, we'll have to make that work too. What are we currently using for that? We're using main camera is, this is what we're going to call this, um, whatever. Big force ball, big force balls in self-constructing. I'm just going to duplicate this. So command, well, command D and throw this into particle glow. I'm going to call this big force ball. Um, yeah, we'll just call it big force. Yeah, that'll be confusing. First ball, 12. I'm just going to call it 12 because of the episode. So um, we just want this to do a lot more force. Um, so let's do and a lot more radius. Let's make the radius 30. And let's just, and let's make the speed way higher too. Where's the speed? Move forward. Let's make this thing go at least 15. Let's see how that looks. Still, oh, we didn't change the, we didn't actually change it. So we go here, we give it a bit of force ball 12. All right. Not fast enough. Let's make this thing really cruise. 30. When in doubt, double. Okay, and you can see that we've got this really cool glow effect. Like it actually looks really cool in practice. Um, it might be a little bit overdone, but I'm going to stick with it for right now because you can see that this is basically how we got that effect going on. And this is all still on Unity Basic. Um, so, cool. So, now that we've done that, what are we doing? We're going to um, make it so that this actually spawns a shell of uh, the reflective funds and then the rest are these uh, glow cubes. So, we're going to have to change our grid spawner code. Um, so I'm going to actually change the base grid spawner code here. Um, and this is important. This is important uh, best practices to learn. So if you, so normally, remember how I told you that you should always have default values that allows you to see if a feature is working. That's like generally the number one thing that you want to do. Give it a default value. So if someone just drags on an object, it works, right? So if you are adding something in the future, you don't want to follow that strategy necessarily. Um, generally, the strategy you want to follow is say you're like six months in on a project and you have a script that you wrote like day one and you're using it all over your code. You don't want to make a default value. If you want to add something to that code, you don't want to make a default value that will suddenly break every use case that you've seen before. So make sure that when you make a default, that it defaults in some way that it won't break the rest of the project but when you add something new. So what we're going to be adding is we're going to call public. Um, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. I'm going to create. Um, we're going to do public. Um, you know, I'm actually not going to do that because there's too many things we got to change. Oh, grid spawner. Let's duplicate that. Put it here. We're going to call it grid spawner. Um, uh, shell is what we're going to call it. And um, we're going to open this up. I just realized there were too many things. I wanted to change names and stuff and it's just not going to go. So we're going to call this um, shell object and interior object. And so shell object, so interior object we're just going to throw in here for right now. Um, so what we actually want to do is we want anything on the outside to take the shell object and anything on the inside to use the interior object. So this right now would just spawn everything. This includes the interior and the outer shell. So what we want to do is we want to change this to if. Um, so to figure out the outside, all we need are anytime X, Y, or Z is zero, you will be on the outside. And then also anytime X, Y, or Z is num objects X or their, their respective num objects thing minus one. That's the other side of the shell. The reason this minus one is because we're counting from zero. So num objects X represents one more than the last number in the shell. I know that's a little confusing. Computers usually count from zeros. So what we're going to do is um, if 
x uh, equals equals 0, or, that's what this means, y equals equals 0, or z equals equals 0, or x equals equals num objects x minus 1, or y equals equals num objects y um, minus 1, or z equals equals num objects z minus 1. There we go. So in that case, we are in the shell. And in the other case, we're not. So all we're going to do here is we're going to just make this exact same instantiate call. Let's grab this whole thing here. Bloop. Paste it in. And all we're going to do is instead of interior object, we're going to say shell object. And if we hit save, it compiled good. And we're going to go to grid spawner and we're going to change it from this grid spawner to the new grid spawner, which I put in the wrong place. It should be in particle glow. Grid spawner shell, we put this into grid spawner. And we set num objects 10, 10, 10, 4.9, 4.9. This is so that there's a little bit of overlap. This is also why the physics freaked out when we spawned them all with colliding because they were all interpenetrating right at the start. And so then we just put a glow cube as the interior object and we put the reflective cube as the shell object. Hit play. And uh, that didn't quite work right. Oh, it's because I didn't say, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I moved it, so it just went away. Uh, this is just a block. I didn't put the else here. Else. There we go. Save. So it's spawning both. And the edge case is literally. All right, so here we go. We've got the cube. It looks like a solid cube here. So that means our particles are probably pretty well. If you notice, we get a little glow on the side. And it's actually kind of cool, so I kind of left it. So if we hit shoot now. There's our glowing cubes, and they all reform and stuff, and it looks awesome. So I'd say that's a wrap. Thank you very much for watching, and um, you guys have a great day. I'll catch you next week for all the normal episodes. So Monday through Friday, we're going to be doing morning breakfast with Unity, and Monday and Thursday, we're doing cooking with Unity. So join us, and have a good one.